Hi everyone, Michael Sherman here with an update on the TFT Dragonlands Championship. With the launch of Dragonlands in June, we've been working behind the scenes to share updates on the upcoming Global Championship. First, I'm excited to announce that the championship will take place over the course of three days from November 18th through the 20th. Throughout the sets, we've kept an eye on the conversations happening in the community, and we're eager to continue shaping up the future of TFT Esports with the community in mind. One of the biggest updates for this championship will be an increase to the prize pool. From set five to set six, we increased the pool from 250,000 to 300,000. In set seven, we're increasing it again by over 50%, from 300,000 to 456,000. In past sets, we felt the prize for winning the entire tournament was good, but not great. In Dragonlands, we want to significantly increase the stakes of high placement on the final day of competition. Now, if you win first place, you'll walk away with $150,000 and the giant shiny golden spatula. Additionally, we've made some updates to the format of the tournament. Previously, the top 32 players would compete on day one, and only half would advance to day two. For this set, no players will be dropped between the first two days and all points will carry over as well. We made this update in order to give the competitors the opportunity to play more rounds and reduce the impact of low roll games. We'll have more detailed information on seeding, the number of games, and how we'll shuffle players between rounds in future updates. In Gizmos and Gadgets, we introduced the Western Last Chance Qualifier where eight players from EMEA, North America, LabAM, and Brazil competed in a one-day event after regional finals to grab the last two spots in the championship. In Dragonlands, we're bringing an Eastern LCQ into the mix for our friends in China, Korea, OCE, and Japan. We're excited to bring these changes to the competitive TFT landscape, and we'll be looking out for your feedback for future updates as well. Regional qualifiers have already kicked off around the world, and we're looking forward to how these months will ladder into the championship. A calendar has been released on our global channels so you can get involved with regional qualifying events. To chart your course to the Dragonlands Championship this November, head to teamfighttactics.com.